Welcome. It's, it's good to have you tune in on this. And happy Thanksgiving to everyone, um, however you're celebrating it this year. It's going to be different, <laughs> at least for us. Yeah. We're only having the four of us at our house, which we're used to having about 20 to, or more. Yeah, so, I've been to your house on Thanksgiving before. Yeah, yeah. So I don't even think we're getting a turkey. Hmm. At least we don't have one now. I don't so. think we are either. Yeah, sorry turkeys. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're happy. I think they've been... If we're not buying and eating turkeys, they've now been murdered for no cause. So anyway, it's great to have <laughs> you here. We're going to get into this uh, a kind of a devotional on giving thanks uh, from Psalm 67 tonight. Mm -hmm. This is our last uh, week that we're going to be in the Psalms. And uh, next Wednesday, we're going to start a series on the four different uh, keywords for Advent, the season before Christmas. Uh, the words of peace, hope, joy, and love. Uh, the Bible Project has wonderful videos on these words and the themes that run through the Bible on these. And then uh, Helen and I are going to be leading different discussions on each one of these for four, uh, four Wednesdays. So I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to that. And happy Thanksgiving to you all. Um, this is a good video to share with other people because I think it's going to be a, um, an uplifting message. So if you've tuned in, and you liked it, share it with somebody today um, or the next couple of days um, because we need to be giving thanks and lots of thanks this year, even in the midst of difficult times. Uh, Hunter, why don't you open us with prayer and then we will get into Psalm 67. All right, sounds good. Heavenly Father, um, thank you, Lord, for all of the things that you continue to do for us, um, even if it is simply just waking us up in the morning, giving us a new day, um, to proclaim you and do your kingdom work. I pray that we would continue to be thankful for the blessing and the calling of doing your kingdom work. Um, and please be with us and in our hearts and in our words as we look through and study this passage. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, um, it's a short psalm. Um, possibly a harvest psalm. They're not quite sure mm -hmm. the setting. Um, there's a lot... The Psalms tend to blend a lot of imagery and a lot of other passages together, and this one does too. So why don't you read it, Hunter, and then uh, we'll get, begin to discuss. I'll read from yours because you're ESV. ESV. Okay, yes. I have NIV here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase, God. Our God shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Yeah. I, I've always thought this should be a, a Thanksgiving psalm, but uh, most uh, when churches have worship, et cetera. Mm. This is not one used, mm. and I'm not sure why. Because it has themes of blessing, it has themes of God's grace, it has the abundance of the earth, it has all the nations yeah. fearing him. So we're going to look at some of those words uh, quickly. So this first word is the word to bless. It's barach in the Hebrew, um, and it occurs quite often in this text. What's fascinating to me is that it both means to kneel and to bless, and this is the word when we say, blessed be God, but God also blesses us. And so when you hear that word blessing, Hunter, what do you think of? Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> no. Um, that was a joke, by the way. I don't. Um, for me, I think that the, the typical understanding when you hear a blessing is like, oh, something good. Yeah. But in a lot of ways, I think that it doesn't have to be something good, but something true. True. Yeah. Um, and I think it's something. So we're going to look at this word a little more because when I hear it, I hear, you know, from the bless, bless her heart, which is an, kind of a backhanded, <laughs> yeah. not so blessing, to just like those good things that mm -hmm. um, are things that we gain. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's extremely an important word in the Bible. And um, so we're going to look at a couple of passages quick, like Numbers. Um, God said to Moses to have Aaron 
the priest, the high priest, speak this on the people. And just read the sec middle section is kind of what's called the Aaronic benediction, the one that the priest said. Oh, you want me to read it? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Um, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance. Yes. Countenance upon you and give you peace. Your countenance is kind of like your demeanor, your, uh. your face. It's another kind of face word. It's kind of like mm. when somebody smiles at you. Mm. It's kind of like um, when you will have a child someday, hopefully, right? Okay. Yeah. Which will be a blessing. Yes. But you, you take a child in your arms and you just smile at them. That mirroring. Mm. So it's like God turning his face, smiling at us as part of the mm. blessing, that relationship with God. Now, this word comes up immediately in first of Genesis, uh, uh, Genesis 1. Why don't you read that? And, and God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Okay, so blessing became a part of who we are and what we need from God from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And what I find in this passage is what does blessing mean? And it's be fruitful, multiply, right? So when God blesses, what happens is he creates kind of a generative capacity the fact that the things that you do that I do, they become abundant or productive. Mm -hmm. It's not like a mathematical equation. It's mm -hmm. more like an exponential equation. So when Jesus blessed the bread and broke it and gave it out, he mm -hmm. fed, you know, 5,000 people with five loaves and two mm -hmm. fish. Now, that's a true blessing of God there. Mm -hmm. But in our mm -hmm. lives, um, what you and I have, I think, Hunter, just think about it. If it was without God's blessing, I couldn't get by. Mm -hmm. Yeah, He kind of adds in, multiplies, does all these things that make it expand much farther, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's kind of that false notion that our lives are really about our hard work. Mm -hmm. um, man, I barely survive on what I do. Yeah, mostly survive on what my wife does. <laughs> not what I do. <laughs> yeah, but do you know what I mean as far yeah. as just our work is not that... Mm -hmm. We, we just assume it causes, the, I think mo most of the time when we do things at church that actually impact people, it's not that we've done it, but it's that God has blessed them through that. He takes mm -hmm. this little thing and multiplies it. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that so much in this season doing college ministry. Um, you know, going into... COVID when we're thinking like, of course we want to be proactive and right. we want to like set a set set the stage for success. Um, but there, there was times where I was getting like so anxious and so bothered by like, what the heck? We're, I'm doing everything that I can yeah. and nothing's happening. And then I had to step back and I was like, oh yeah, this is God's ministry. Like this isn't about right. me. I'm, I'm just a tool in this. And right. like I, I am useful and I'm important. You're useful, you're right. important. Everybody but. here is useful, important, but it's not about them and the blessing doesn't come from them. Right. It comes from God through them. Right. Unless the Lord builds a house, the laborers who build it labor in vain, yep. unless the Lord watches. So if God does not bless, it really doesn't matter what we do. Mm -hmm. And so maybe one thing to think around and ask around the Thanksgiving table, whether it's just you uh, talking to God today and counting on his blessings or a couple of people or whomever, or if you're doing a Zoom thing, Zoom giving, I don't know how you, Zoom Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanks, thanks Zooming thanks today, um, or in any way, uh, just think of how God has taken what you have and he makes it much more productive, yeah. exponentially growth. Um, the idea of the first blessings were that we garden the earth, but that it became fertile and multiply. Mm -hmm. it was, there was a lot of um, generativity about mm -hmm. it. Um, I don't know if that's a word, generativity, or if it's just generative capacity. But that you plant a seed in the ground, it doesn't just produce a seed, it produces a hundred more. Mm -hmm. That's God's involvement. So I don't know, this is uh, a quote I just love from Dallas Willard. Um, what do you think of it? Why don't you read it and tell me what you think of this. Our souls were made to be blessed and cannot survive without the blessing. Um, 
Yeah. It's, I think it's something that's hard to, to think of when, because of the connotation that blessing holds, like we always think only assume like in, in the current context, it's a good thing. Um, but it's hard to see that, that maybe like right now along the timeline, it might not feel like a good thing, but further on, it will see like, Oh wow. Like that, there was wonders that were working in that. And you even think of like a seed and you plant it. And for days you might think this thing's dead, nothing's happening. And then a pumpkin. It Which might, is like crazy, correct? To think so that anything it might be a, from that. it might be a season of planting. But, it might be a mm-hmm. se- season of dormancy for you. Uh, what I like too is the idea is I'm blessed no matter what's going on because God has His favor towards mm-hmm. me. You know, I think the most important thing in life uh, for like a child is that that child knows someone significant, usually parents, grandparents, Mm -hmm. loves them no matter what. Mm -hmm. And so they have that favor Mm -hmm. and that reception and acceptance no matter what Mm -hmm. the world throws at them. Mm -hmm. And no matter how much rejection elsewhere, they have that person who has said, you are absolutely valuable Mm -hmm. and you are exactly what we want. uh, And we want to be with you and you are, you know, the apple of my eye mm-hmm. type of thing, the joy in my face. When, when you show up in the room, my face lights up. Wow, thank you, John. Well, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Yeah, yeah. And that makes all the difference, mm-hmm. right? So you can face a lot of stuff. So we've had some tough times this year, some of you more than others. Uh, but just think about the fact that God blesses you shines his face on you as the, um, mm-hmm. gives you abundance and has such favor towards you. He loves being with you. Yeah. And that changes everything, I think. And I do want to interject in something like yeah. in reading this, I thought it was really interesting that yeah. in, in verse four, it says, may the nations be glad and sing for joy for you rule the peoples with equity and guide the nations on earth. It yeah. didn't say you rule the peoples with equality. It's not everybody gets the same amount of blessing no, no. matter what. It's you receive a blessing according to your well, circumstances. Well, just like gifts according and to, stuff, yeah. right? Um, we could get into all of these words. That's why this that psalm really is filled yeah. with so many words. We can't even get into them all. We mm-hmm. got into the word blessing so far. We're going to uh, share one more quote on that, and then we're going to get to the word gracious that comes up okay. in this psalm. I didn't even get to equity because we don't, yes. we, um, it just stuck out to but me. But equity, so. um, justice is mm-hmm. another word for it. Fairness, like he knows exactly what he's mm-hmm. doing, mm-hmm. Uh, which is really interesting. So Brand Hansen said this, why don't you read oh, this one? We will try to find the blessing one way or another, some way to verify that we're significant, valued and secure. Yeah. So if you don't recognize that you've been blessed by God, you mm-hmm. are blessed by God, that God has favor, you're going to try to find that favor elsewhere, mm. that value somewhere. Mm. And I think that's what's behind a lot of the anxieties mm-hmm. uh, and the fears and everybody's um, like trying to grab for it themselves and mm-hmm. not realize. It's just empty. The, yeah, and the yeah. status they already have. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you see, um, not picking on college students, so it doesn't really matter, anybody, do you see people that are trying to find blessing one way or another? Yeah. Yeah, um, my mom and I were talking about it this week, that there's, there's people that we know that whether it's, um, you know, whether it's like a lot of makeup to like, so you look in the mirror and you go, oh wow, I'm pretty now. Yeah. Um, or, or like life experiences or, or the things that you can, can gather and like hold in. And you, feel and, like. And it, it might be exciting. It's, all, it's always right. exciting to get right. new stuff. Like it's awesome. Um, but you know, two weeks down the road, you don't have the same zeal for right. that thing that you did when and you first opened it. And then you, you need another it. fix. Yeah. And, and so, if you can get out of that cycle and realize like, no, 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 you're inherently valued by God, by God. no matter what, no matter then what, it doesn't matter what your body looks like or the things that you have 
or the experiences that you get to have in right. life or the ones that you miss out on. None of those things can contradict mm -hmm. the reality of what God has already said about you. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So that's the word blessing in this. And um, we'll get to the end of this. We're going to kind of wrap up mm -hmm. on, wait a minute, blessing's not just for me to feel good because um, it comes out for in the sure, Psalm too. Yeah. But this is the other word I thought, God be gracious to us. And it's the word chanan here, to be gracious or to show favor or to bring delight to somebody, like giving them a gift and mm -hmm. just show, uh, just loving the fact that mm -hmm. it's like they're smiling and they're thrilled and excited. Yeah. God gets a kick out of that. Mm. Is that wild? That's I mean, kind of you've probably um, done different things that gave delight to someone else. Probably at some point. Oh, come on. Like you posed <laughs> Brooke. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And she, what was her face like after you? Um, so it was kind of funny because she, she had her suspicions for the day, but then. It's still. Then I, so me and Colt faked a phone call so that she thought he was crashing it. So she just like got thrown off and was like, oh, no, it's not happening today because Colt's going to be here. Yeah. But it was fake. He he was not coming. Um, and then, yeah, I could tell she was annoyed, though. Like, oh. she was, like, bothered. And, Cause and she, I knew because she pensive, was, like, disappointed. Pensive yeah. about that. But when you did but it. But then when I did it, she was ecstatic with her one broken foot. Right. Um, that would be a, a way to, uh, mm -hmm. that's Hanan right there. Mm -hmm. um, it's wanted. It's desired. Yeah but it's still a gift mm -hmm. and it delights. Um, so I, I, I love that, that God doesn't like just try to get us by. Mm -hmm. He wants us to delight in him and delight with what he gives and who he is and just that whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, so this word grace runs through the Bible as well, to be gracious, to show favor. Um, it's always a um, gift. It's never earned. It's not an equation mm -hmm. it's always ab above and beyond yeah in louisiana there is a term i think helen roanfelt knows this too because she used to live there lanyap which is a little something extra you know it's kind of like that baker's <laughs> dozen we'll okay, give you yeah, a, yeah. A, a give you an extra donut yeah. just because we want to we're going to give you something extra a little get lanyap yeah and uh and god's lanyap is not just a little something extra it's like over like my cup runs over yeah. i mean yeah so another thing to think about this um thanksgiving weekend mm. what ways has god been gracious to us even in the midst of a difficult year any thoughts on that um gosh I don't even, uh, this is a very simple, small example. It's okay. Um, oh gosh, I don't even want to use that example. It's so silly. Okay. Uh, goodness. Honestly, oh, here's one. The students we got to baptize yeah. this past week. Like that, that was such a cool thing that going into this semester, seeing all of the hurdles we were going to have to get over. And at the beginning of the semester, we felt like we weren't getting traction and, and everything was different. And, um, so, you know, we, we restructured everything in the college right. group. And then in the last yeah. three years, this is the first year that we've had baptisms. It's kind of, I think, what we're seeing is quality, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not necessarily quantity. But quality comes first anyways, yeah. usually, and then the quantity comes afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's been gracious to us in so many ways. I mean, we have um, not just survived this year. I'm not enjoying uh, the fact that worship is still not what mm -hmm. it was prior to COVID, but I think um, we're all growing through this. Oh, yeah. It's definitely pushed us to be flexible and innovative patient, mm -hmm. um, understanding, um, understanding what the real heart of worship is. It's not my experience of how wonderful and uplift, but it's my mm -hmm. giving thanks anyway. So think about how, and maybe share this, how God has been gracious, that he just has delighted you this year and delighted in you this year and wants you to be delighting in him this year, even in the difficulties that we have faced.
And then um, just one last thing, because um, we're trying to make this a nice little devotional to not be too long. Um, the, the purpose of blessing comes out in this psalm a couple, a couple of times, you know. And it's not just for Israel, God be gracious to me or to us mm -hmm. or us in the church, but so that. And here it says, right, make his face shine on us, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the psalm, it says, God shall bless us, let all the ends of the earth fear him. So um, blessing itself is not an end, just God. I mean, he loves to bless mm -hmm. us just to bless us, but he also loves to bless us so that we become a blessing, blessing to, others. to others, right? And that others may praise God. So I think this Thanksgiving, just like anything else, it's not simply let's give thanks and be, first of all, I hate the idea of, I'm sorry, but this is one of my pet peeves. People say, I'm so thankful. And my question is, to whom? Mm. Not you, just for what? Yeah. Yeah, because being saying you're thankful is basically saying I'm I'm satisfied. Yeah. I'm smug. I'm I'm fine with what I've got. Yeah, I'm yeah. content. It's always a relationship. Thanksgiving mm. is giving thanks to someone. Mm. And so um but we generically take God out of the picture and just talk about being thankful. Mm -hmm. But then who are you thankful? To whom are you thankful? Mm -hmm. It's and so um God blesses us so that others may see who he is and give him praise and glory and to know him. Mm -hmm. So um, I think we've been blessed in a lot of ways this year, but not for ourselves, for others. Yeah, right? for sure. So um, we want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Um, there's a video right after this that's based on Psalm 67. It's a, a song. Um, I don't know if it's one that we will do here at Thrive ever. Um, it's the blessing. I don't, I, I can't remember. It's the words of Psalm 67 and oh. it's, um, beautiful in some ways. It might not be quite our style of music, um, that we would do, but, um, you can use that to give thanks, to share that with others as well as, uh, we conclude now with just another short prayer of Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> it's your turn. Heavenly Father, um, thank you, Lord, again for all of the blessings, um, and I pray that you would continue to bring them so that we can show people your glory, um, show people your love, that we would not receive these blessings in vain, that we would understand that a blessing to us is not the end of that blessing, that those blessings ought to be shared um, and I pray that you would refine us to have a continual posture of, of understanding those blessings and, and using them to, to bless others. So I pray that you would keep everybody safe uh, during this Thanksgiving week. Um, hopefully everybody will get to safely be with their families. Um, but if not, God, I pray that um, people will still be able to find joy in the little time that they do get to have with people, whether it's phone calls or Zoom calls, um, however people are choosing to celebrate this week. Um, but I pray that you would be at the center of it all. So be with us in this week, and in your name I pray, amen. Amen, and um, thank you again. We give thanks to, you, uh, for, to God for you as well, and all that you've been, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine and make his face shine and make his face shine. upon us yeah. that your ways may be known and your salvation among the nations that your ways may Self.
gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us that your ways may be known on earth your salvation among all nations may the peoples praise you O god may all, all the peoples, peoples praise you may the nations be glad and sing for joy for you rule the peoples justly and to guide the nations of things may, may the, the peoples praise you O god may the peoples praise you may the peoples praise you May all the peoples praise you, then the land will yield its harvest, and God 